Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. You already know. I want to give a shout out to Notification Gang and Key Talk Gang, even though they're really the same thing, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the bell so you get a notification every time I drop a video. So, so a lady was sadly kidnapped inside of Chirac. You already know the kidnapper probably lived with his mama or baby mama or something like that and they ain't had no place to put her at so you know what the kidnapper did this nigga took her into an abandoned house and pretty much chained her up now they saying that she's allegedly probably been there for about weeks because the neighbors been hearing a whole lot of noise from this particular house but they just didn't know you know what was actually going on and nothing like that but all of a sudden there was a guy walking to the bus stop i believe this morning and as he was going to the bus stop he heard somebody beating on the window bang 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 help me out help me out help please help now you know no, it just so happened that the kidnapper was at that house at that particular time as well. So pretty much he must go there every now and then to check up on him, probably to make sure she's still alive, maybe to give her some food or something like that, just to keep him a chained up woman inside the abandoned house. Anyways, pretty much the guy that happened to see the window get banged on was going towards the bus stop and he actually saw the man walking outside of the house and the man walking outside of the house was obviously the kidnapper, so the kidnapper took off running. Now the guy that saw him walking out and he knew something was up after he saw the woman beating on the window pretty much saying help, he decided to go after the guy that was actually kidnapping her, but then he stopped, he turned back around and went back to the house just to go make sure that the woman was good. You already know the whole neighborhood ended up coming out. Uh, they ended up calling the cops and the guy was pretty much telling the police, hey, man, you know, I, I wanted to go out to the guy. That's what he was wearing. But I also wanted to make sure that the lady was good. You already know somebody was like, man, this lady good. She ain't going nowhere. She chained down. You should have went after the kidnapper. Yeah. <sighs> I started to walk down Stewart, though. I don't need no award. I don't need no award. No, I don't. I'm sorry. All I need to do is get this property. So can't nobody else go in here no more. That's what it is. That's what it is. I need this property. I need the money. And I need to fix up every abandoned house around here so they won't be able to do it no more. That's what I need. I need somebody to give me some money so I can fix these apartments and these houses up and put them in it so can't nobody get chained up and be in a abandoned house for weeks. Anyways, so the guy that's talking is pretty much the guy that uh, rescued the lady. And another lady walks over like, man, you need an award. You need an award around here. You saved a lot. Life, you already know. Buddy was like, man, I don't want no award. You can keep the trophies. I need some money. And I need some money so I can buy out all these properties that's abandoned so we can pretty much fix them up and get them filled in so nobody can't be getting kidnapped and put inside no property because it could be way more than just this lady inside of these abandoned properties and shot a shot rack. What if, what if, what if he to grab one of these little babies? What if he to grab one of these little babies? I started to go down Stewart. I started to go to Stewart and go straight to the bus stop. If I wouldn't have did that, she'd have probably still been in here. The nigga walked off. He kidnapped the girl, man. He chained her up. He chained her up. She been in there. For how long? I don't know for how long. The kids say they been here in there for weeks. Dude, man, we I should have went and chased this. Because I'm trying to tell the police where she at. I know, I should have chased this mother, but she know how he look. She know how he look. So I'm walking past. Me and him, we started talking. Next thing you know, we get to hear beating on the window. This young man right here, he stay right there. And I get to talking to him, and next thing you know, we hear him beating. And she like hell. Anyways, so everybody knows that Chirac, you know what I'm talking about, particular parts of Chirac is super wicked. And this just happened to be one of the parts that's extremely wicked as well. Like I say, man, a lot of people said, or the next door neighbor said they were hearing a lot of noise from the house. But of course, they didn't want to be nosy. They didn't really think to look into it. Luckily, Buddy walked past and saw Shorty beating on the window while at the same time seeing a man walk outside the house that actually took off so he wouldn't get caught. You already know, but he saved a life today. Anyways, let me know something. 
Hey, man, this is wild and crazy. I'm talking about this is, of course, inside of Chirac. Uh, I don't know exactly know which part of Chirac this is in. I'm sure some people will in the comment section. Anyways, let me know something. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.